Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got an unboxing video for you, and I'm kind of excited for this because this is supposed to be my birthday present for my son, and it looks like it came from Knife Center, and yeah, it had his name, my address. He thought I was supposed to get it yesterday, so I got it today, day after my birthday, and yeah, let's Let's get into it because I have no idea what it is. Today I'm still carrying the Vets Made Mini Presidio 2. It's turned into my favorite EDC knife, but kind of sounds like there might be a knife box in here. Let's let's get it open. This will be a quick video. Um, next couple of videos will actually be unboxings i have two other knives coming plus an old light order which really isn't much a couple things but i'll do an unboxing on those oh come on open Let's see Jeez, tape everywhere. Open that. Open that. Let's check see if there's any paperwork in here. I don't know what's in here. No, it doesn't look the way I expected it to look. So I got the paper out. Feels like two things. Three things, I think. So, first one, <laughs> I know what these are, that turd, <laughs> he got me a whole set of Gas Monkey Garage knives, because we were looking at Knife Center, um, they were having a sale, and we saw these, these things were like five bucks a piece, um, I said, look at these, Gas Monkey Garage knives. It was, you like like them? I said, I watched them on TV when they were on, when we had cable. I go, they're cheap knives, but it'd be cool to have the whole set. So let's check these things out. Gas Monkey Garage work knife, 2.4 stainless steel blade. Doesn't even tell what steel it is. Anodized aluminum handle, frame lock. Yeah. More stuff on the back. We'll open these up, check them out. But this one, Gas Monkey Grad Stone Wash Knife. Little thumb stud knife. That's a frame lock also. 2.3 inch stainless steel. Stone wash black oxide blade finish 3.5 inch. No way. Yeah, it might be steel oh steel handle. Yeah, cool. You know, these these are very inexpensive knives, you know. This is a keychain knife. Little Warren Cliff. That's got G10 handle. Um, that's cool. But yeah. Let's check this one out. See if I can get it open. This just cracks me up. You know, they're five bucks a piece, so 15 bucks. I thought they were just, you know, a novelty item cool. But I probably would not, and I didn't. I didn't spend 15 bucks. I didn't buy them for myself. But since they were a gift, <laughs> I think they're pretty pretty good oh, the keychain's name is attached yeah that's a little guy this is the key ring knife check it out get the gas monkey garage logo that is g10 pocket clip it does have a pocket clip tip down thumb stud it appears to be no it is it's a little tiny frame lock huh <laughs> Actually locks up pretty good. 
can't hardly see it, but black up, black up's not bad. You know what? That's fairly sharp too. Um, piece of paper. Holy cow! Actually, it is kind of sharp. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Real quick, just out of curiosity. Overall length is about five and an eighth. Pretty cool Warren Cliff style blade. Yeah, can you flip it? <laughs> Tell you what, you can. Looks like T6 pivot screw, so you can adjust the pivot. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Use that to open this one. Yeah, I may come back. I actually, do I'll do an update on these things. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't have too many novelty knives. I got a couple of souvenir knives from when we all went to Gettysburg this summer. This one's chunky. This one's heavy. And tip down carry, deep carry pocket clip. That one's not. But yeah, deep carry clip. Stainless steel liners or frame frame lock I don't even know what style of blade this is looks like a drop point maybe a tanto can you flip it Phew. not really it's pretty tight lock up's pretty good yeah basically a drop point it's got a little, a little bit of recurve right there three finger grip Pretty, pretty good jumping on top. Yeah. Pretty comfortable in hand. Even the tip up, or tip down pocket clip positioning is not bad, believe it or not. Yeah. This one don't feel quite as sharp. But, hey, it cuts. That's cool. These are cool for for my collection. Gas Monkey Garage. Oh, let's use that to open this one. This one's kind of interesting looking. This is the work knife. But the design of the handle looked interesting. So and it's open these things open the packages up nice. I'm sure they're not going to stay sharp very long, but yeah, let's check this one out. This one's kind of kind of neat. And this one's actually tip-up carry, but it's got a loop-over pocket clip, but look at all that. You can definitely pull that out easy. But yeah, I think that's, this is very kind of interesting looking. Look at the pivot area. I don't know if you can adjust that or not. Maybe with a special little spanner wrench or something. Let's check the blade out. <clears throat> so, it's definitely shaped. Check it out. Definitely shaped kind of automobile. It's kind of like the top and window, the hood. That might be, <clears throat> you know, filling in for a wheel. But yeah, that's goes right off the end. You got a little choil. You can choke actually you can choke up a little bit. A little thumb ramp. Some place that you can set your thumb right on there. You know the blade or the grinds I need don't look all all that bad. Again, frame lock. Absolutely no blade play. No blade play. This one flexes a little bit. Um, 
no lock rock really no blade play it's just such a thin blade the blade flexes yeah lock up on these things they're actually good um ergos on this one yeah not too bad it's three and a half my pinky kind of goes right on the lanyard hole here yeah cool let's see Check this one out. <laughs> they could use a little stropping. Uh, you know, it's a little, a little rough, but man, these things are actually sharp. Uh, did I dull it already? <laughs> nope. Look at that. Pretty cool. Which one's the biggest one here? Overall, that one's the large, longest. I think they're kind of neat. You know, I did like to show it when it was on there a few years back. I don't know if it's still on or not. But I liked it. I watched it quite often. And yeah. We're looking at nice center, and these popped up. I said, it. Yeah, I'd already seen them. And I go, look at these Gas Monkey Garage, nice three of them. They're four ninety five or something each. He was, do you like them? I said, I like the show. I said, these things be, it'd be cool to have the the set in the collection. And yeah, he ended up getting them for me. So. I'm, I'm sure you'll watch this, so thank him, thank him right now. Thanks, Brandon. These are pretty cool. That says 1304. Is that like the model number? Yeah, it's the model number. Made in China. That doesn't even say stainless steel. Looks like a reversible. Looks like you can change that thumb stud around. That's got a single thumb stud. Looks like they're screwed in. They may be pressed in. But yeah, this is a thing. None of them are, you know, spring assisted. That one's a little tight, but you can adjust the pivot. Like I said, it's got a little recurve here going on. Hollow grind blade stock's pretty actually pretty thin. Plus with the hollow grind, that's why that's slicey. This one's definitely a flat grind. This one eh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's a hollow ground. Hollow grind. That one's kind of cool looking. I just it's different. These are definitely a little different knives. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, just a quick unboxing of the Gas Monkey Garage knives my son got me for my birthday. I think they're cool. I like the colors, black and orange. Yeah. Yeah, this may go up. I may put this on my keychain. What the heck? It's not that big. Um, black, it match my setup replace replace my Victorinox Classic SD for a while maybe because this is just kind of unique looking I like it but yeah like I said just a quick unboxing video I may come back give you an update of these eggs after a while I'm going to play with these and yeah I guess that's it you know do the usual like comment subscribe and until the next video bye